Let's Plays, the art of playing a game and talking alongside it is often regarded as a low effort YouTube video. I don't agree, which is why today we're talking about who's done it the best. It's the LP Podcast. Hello and happy Tuesday. It's the day of the week where I do more talking than playing of Nintendo games, but Nintendo's the topic all the same, specifically Nintendo Let's Players. I myself consider myself a Nintendo Let's Player and, you know, being a part of the hobby, it would be fair to assume that I would know something about the big heavy hitters. And that's not to say that today's list is going to be entirely populated by the largest creators in the space, sure. Some of your favorites will undoubtedly be listed, but I hope today to introduce you to some creators that you may not have heard of or you may not have heard of in a long time. Now, this list is going to go in no particular order, so don't think of this as a top-down, worst-to-best sort of ranking, and it's also not entirely made up of purely Nintendo Let's Players. Uh, to be considered a Nintendo Let's Player, in my mind, is someone who creates Nintendo Let's Plays at least some percentage of the time. Truly, a very scientific experiment. Let's get started, shall we? We're starting things off here with Born Losers Gaming. They've been creating videos now for just over a decade, in fact, closer to 11 and a half years now as of this recording, and they've done a fantastic job. You can see here that they are currently taking a break, but I encourage you to check them out if you're into anything that is in the way of the relatively family-friendly group Let's Plays. You can see them here on Social Blade. They've uploaded 3,205 videos over the course of their channel's lifespan, amassing 48,000 subscribers and 18 million views. To say that they've had a huge amount of success would be an understatement. And speaking of huge success, next on the list we have Point Crow, an individual who may not be as family friendly as the last two creators, but has had a huge amount of success in less than half the time. With the Point Crow YouTube channel being created in January of 2019, just barely over five years old, he's amassed 2.26 million subscribers and 526 million views, which is just absolutely astrophrigonomical. At only 306 uploads, the average pace here is is just to put it lightly bananas but this is where we draw the line i suppose between what is a let's player and what is a standard creator what's a let's player versus what's a streamer because what point crow does is mostly stream related and in my opinion a let's play is a playthrough of a video game aligned with commentary and something tying itself back to the greater community to the audience to the viewer the let's in let's play if that makes sense and point crow being a very very talented streamer no doubt does that in friggin spades so despite having the shortest lifespan of the channels listed thus far and yes we've only listed two so whatever it's not really that big of a deal anyways <laughs> he has a massive amount of success even finding himself ranked in the top 1000 youtube channels in the united states and speaking of top tier united states based channels zach scott games finds himself in the top 600 youtube channels in the usa with a whopping three and a half billion views i did just let that sink in for a minute all right if you had three and a half billion anything you'd well i guess you probably have uh, a problem if it was most things but if it was money that'd be pretty cool or if it was like little like gnomes that could help you out with your housework i don't know then you got to feed them and stuff so maybe that's not great either which way three and a half billion views is absolutely bonkers so then it's no surprise that he also has 5.4 million subscribers and a whopping 12 thousand uploads in the time that his channel has been created, which is just about 14 years old. Now, as of yet, through this list, the oldest channel on the list. Now, the last Creator Point Crow wasn't what we consider a generally family-friendly creator, but Zach Scott Games does pride himself in being so, and he plays a huge array of great games, also beholding himself to the generally standard theme of the classic Let's Play, right? Uploading episodic videos in a series until the game itself is finished playing all the classics that you might expect on said channel now speaking of channel we're hopping the english channel and all of england 
in the entirety of the Atlantic Ocean. We're moving from the USA to Germany, where Beard Bear is the 243rd largest channel with a whopping 1.1 million subscribers, 975 million video views, and 3,300 video uploads. His channel is actually one of the younger ones as well, being created just about nine years ago, but priding himself on the creation of 100% walkthroughs. So, it is a departure from the regularly entertainment-based Let's Play. Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of entertainment value here, but you're going to find things like 25-hour-long Super Mario the Thousand... Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door videos. You're going to find Super Mario Sunshine seven hours long. You're going to find full 100% runs entirely encapsulated in singular videos, which is not something that really has a, uh, a huge amount of appeal to a broad audience, in my opinion. Not many people are going to be willing to sit down or pause a video, leave, come back to it, unless the creator does it extraordinarily well, which Beard Bear absolutely does. And if you're into witty humor, voice acting, and a huge amount of longevity with the channel being created, gosh darn, 16 years ago, look no further than Tom Fox. The man has accumulated 121,000 subscribers on YouTube, 68 million video views, and 6,200 uploads, combining all of those together for a very, very productive career, not just on YouTube, but also on Twitch, with a, a newfound foray into VTubing, in fact, in the last year. Tom Fox is actually one of my particular favorites due to his unique blend of humor, intelligence, and just straight up chaos. All right, if you have any interest in someone yelling into a microphone, not just to squeal their head off, but in a way that purposefully is intended to make you laugh, well, you might just like Tom Fox. Fans of old school Cartoon Network and the like will undoubtedly catch a ton of references as well. So in my opinion, if you're not already checking this guy out, you should. Which brings us to another one of my personal favorites, one Mr. Josh Jepson, who, as well as Tom Fox, has 16 plus years of longevity on YouTube. Now, Josh Jepson does pride himself as well as being a particular talented streamer, so you won't find a huge smattering of recently uploaded videos. The stuff that he does put up is fantastic, and I do understand that he has plans to continue to utilize the YouTube platform, but you may find him more frequently streaming things like crowd control on Twitch, which is actually a great new concept taking over the streaming world at this present state. So if you're not familiar with crowd Crowd control. If you're not familiar with Josh Jepson, first and foremost, that's amazing. I don't know how you've done it. It's incredible. Frankly, you deserve some applause. But secondly, you also should go join this man as one of 190,000 subscribers viewing his very even number of 1,600 uploads and 61 million video views could stand to add a few more to it. Next up as well is another old timer with Miss Sayanella creating her account on October 17th, 2009. Since then amassing 128,000 subscribers, 48 million video views on a total of nearly 2,500 video uploads. Miss Say is yet another streamer and content creator and let's player. Beginning her career many years ago as we just talked about playing one of the greatest games of all time. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This was actually one of the first Let's Plays in general that I ever watched, and it holds a very special place in my heart, not just for the fact that it helped introduce me to the genre, but because it did a great job of demonstrating who Masei is as a creator. And if you're looking for a, we'll say, maybe not the antithesis of the wild Tom Fox, but some, someone perhaps a little bit more calm, a little bit more collected, a little bit more laid back, Masei is absolutely in your vein, and for good reason too. Because looking at the numbers here, she's undoubtedly had a huge amount of success over the near decade and a half, if not going on two decades now, and I think that you should absolutely check her out as well. And you can't talk about longevity without talking about Tim. Nintendo Capri Sen, the man, the myth, the legend himself. All right, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. You know what I'm talking about? The man's been creating videos, at least on YouTube, since 2007, which if you're familiar with YouTube as a platform, about as early as you could be doing it, okay? And he's done it exceptionally well, beholding himself to his own standard of quality and entertainment, which resonates with a huge amount of people, amassing over 373 million views, 399,000 subscribers, on a total of 6,000 uploads. He's got excellent taste, not just in puns, jokes, or toilet humor, but in games as well. As you head over to his YouTube channel, which is still updated daily with up episodes, he is running through Tears of the Kingdom, Let's Play, which lets you know that he's not only someone who sticks to the games that they grew up with, they love, but also 
everything else that's coming out. And if there's if there's a Mount Rushmore, if there's a Mount Rushmore uh, of Let's Players, specifically Nintendo Let's Players, I don't know if if Tim is is like the George Washington, or if he's like the the, the guy that created the Mount Rushmore, right? If he's the one out there with the chisel or something. Either which way, he's extraordinarily influential in the space. And if you're not directly influenced by his work, then you are directly influenced by someone who was influenced by his work. And in that same vein, you can't talk about Nintendo Let's Plays. You can't talk about influential Let's Players without talking about Chugga Khan, right? I mean, the guy has been a stalwart since 2006, which is crazy. You know, we thought Tim was going to be the old timer here. Goodness gracious, Chugga Conroy's beaten him by about a year. I'm not going to touch on the things that have happened or the allegations or anything like that over the last year because, frankly, I'm not. It's not It's not what this has anything to do with. But as far as Let's Playing work, he's been incredibly consistent up until that point, producing daily episodes, weekly episodes, monthly episodes for gosh darn two decades. And, of course, as is the case with all these people playing some excellent freaking games as well, not just for his own pocketbooks, you know what I'm saying, but participating in a number of charities as well, which is something that I perhaps glossed over with a lot of the other creators on this list. They all participate in charity streams or charity events. A lot of them even participate in it together. And if you're not familiar with any of them, I mean, if you're not familiar with one of them, check them out and check out what they're working on, because odds are it's not only going to help them and their pocketbooks, like we said, but it's going to help out the greater good. And what really is better? than watching people play video games, giggling your head off like a deranged chimp, and also supporting charity at the same time. Maybe adding a banana float, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And last but not least, Steven Plays. If you're familiar with the last few people on the list, you're undoubtedly familiar with Steven as well, and for good reason, okay? Not just for what he's done here with 190 million video views, 200,000 subscribers, 9,400 uploads, but really, the chief importance and why I'm placing him here on this list is because he and his channel, specifically, in fact, his Skyrim Let's Play, were my introduction to the Let's Play genre at all. I would have never, ever found out about it if I was not looking on YouTube for uh, Skyrim gameplay, someone talking. I didn't even know what I was looking for, but I stumbled across his episode three or something of his Skyrim playthrough as it was happening, and I was hooked. Steven combines an excellent sense of humor with intelligence and some well-timed jokes for a great experience, okay? And as mentioned with the other creators, he does juggle both daily creating, as you can see here, sometimes in the past multi-times a day uploading, as well as consistent live streams and not only that, but a vlog channel to boot. So to say that he is something of an inspiration to my channel, mm, well, you might be onto something there. Either which way, he's incredibly talented at what he does, and you would be doing yourself a massive disservice if you checked out everyone on this list, but not him. In fact, I may even go so far as to say if you check one person out on this list that you haven't, it should be Steven. He's got a friggin' film degree, and he's making YouTube videos about Nintendo games. I mean, come on. And just for the heck of it, hey, here's my social blade, because of course I am as well a Nintendo Let's Player, but I've only been doing it for a few short years here, just recently celebrating the channel's third birthday. Goodness gracious, I haven't wasted any time either with 2,200 uploads. Hey, and almost 10,000 of you have amassed 3 million views. So, I've got a far way to go before I can ever hope to compare myself against the stalwarts that we just talked about. But, I do hope that I have opened your eyes to at least some of them or reopened them. For that matter, I hope I didn't forget anyone too egregious. There are a number of honorable mentions I'd like to throw out here, of course. Attacking Toucans, Zebra Gaming, Queens, Let's Plays, Hef, Proton John, Lucagen, the list goes on. But if I forgot anyone else, please do in fact let me know. And what's more, let me know who your top three are. Do you have a particular favorite? A particular favorite for any reason? Maybe if you're looking for something more casual here, or maybe looking for something more chaotic. Maybe you're looking for something more intelligent, and you stay the heck away from my channel. Who's to say? Either which way, I do this every Tuesday, and I'm glad you were here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.